So before we start, I'll just ask a question because someone asked in the comment section a while ago and I forgot to get back to them. Uh, is there any difference in uh, time when you're tempering dark chocolate versus milk or white? Or is it all like pretty much the same? Uh, personally, for me, I find that the dark doesn't have to be tempered quite as much. Hmm. And I think that's probably because there is uh, less cocoa butter in it. And the white, Steve, what do you think about the white? Yeah, the white is a little quicker too. Which is funny because the white is all cocoa butter. <laughs> Yeah, this, I think this is actually the first time we showed white chocolate in uh, our videos. I think some people even asked, why don't you do white chocolate? And I was like, well, we do. We do. We just so, didn't, just yeah. didn't catch it yet. Yeah. Yeah, and we don't have a whole melter for it just because we don't have enough demand for it. So we just melt every, all the white over here on the, the candy stove. And then we do uh, orange and raspberry chocolate and stuff over here too, right? Yep. And do you guys just do candy bars for those? We also do breakfast. What's this one? Uh, it looks like milk. Probably has milk. Yeah, <laughs> um, so are all the like the orange and raspberry flavors are those dark or milk or what? Um, orange we do in milk and dark. Raspberry we do in milk and dark. And mm. then we also do Irish cream just in milk. Wow. Irish cream chocolate. Flavored. It's not the actual. <laughs> no, people will ask. Yeah, it's really. Actual liquor. Yeah, it's flavor. Huh. Just flavor. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. All right, I'll come back to Dad once his chocolate's all tempered. Just a minute or so. So, Mom, okay. if someone were to chocolate-covered marshmallows at home, what kind of advice would you give them other than leave it to a professional? Um, you buy the marshmallows, don't put heavy things on top of them in the mm. grocery store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. That's step number one. Right? To have a marshmallow shaped, they, they look better that way. Um cover each and every part of the marshmallow with chocolate no bare spots no bare spots bare equals stale they just go bad or not go bad i guess wouldn't go bad but they just like just go you know stale or faster a little, yeah. a little chink in the armor can just cause like a bit of staleness them, leaving one out uh, on your table after a day would be pretty hard so. yeah i imagine that these uh chocolate covered marshmallows probably won't last very long at people's houses though i don't think so Funny thing about marshmallows, um, we have a sample box upstairs by the cash register. That's where we put a little bit of the extra stuff. Like, say something doesn't weigh up to a quarter pound, we got a few extra. Are we going to eat it or are we going to give it away? We're going to give it away. So, but they always go for the marshmallows because it's the biggest thing in the sample mm -hmm. box. So mm -hmm. it's like, they kind of look around and then like, <laughs> I'm, okay, away I'm with getting something. the biggest way. I'm getting the biggest one. Even though it's free, yeah. <laughs> I'm still getting away with They're something. They're all free. <laughs> yeah. That's why they call it the sample box. Yep. Which it is a sample box, not a buffet. So like while you're chocolate covering them, what are you doing? Thinking. Thinking? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Wow. Push rock, push rock. <laughs> but you just like use your thumb to fiddle it around in the rest of your fingers? Okay. Uh, yeah, well, my technique, I think your dad does things individually. I put a bunch in there and stir them up. Mm -hmm. And then I just kind of give it a little inspection. And then boop, boop, boop and drop it from the top boom, um boom. boop 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 <laughs> um when uh, when you guys were babies and i would do that and i would lay your head down on the changing table like this and i always felt like i was just dropping a cream <laughs> i'm not kidding that's what it seemed like you lay their head down very gently like that with a little flourish a little decoration on the top of the head which that wasn't really necessary since you already had hair mm. Mm -hmm. yeah i know I diverged and digressed, sorry. Divulged secret information. Oh, I divulged, diverged, and digressed. Can you say that? Divulged, diverged, and digressed. Mm, very good. You done good. Thanks. Who doesn't love some alliteration in early in the morning? I love some awesome alliteration. Yeah, it's not really early in the morning. It's 20 to 10. Take dates half over. Yeah. Because if you're old like you two... It's almost you guys time. go to bed it's at seven. Almost time for my mid-morning snack. <laughs> go to bed at seven p.m. Uh, Craig, you know we're up until eight p.m., right? <laughs> Are you bad at telling time? I'm very good at it. At what? At what? Yeah. What? I don't remember. Uh, Who's the senile one?
My rules aren't quite as neat as your papa bears. Yeah. These are lined up by li little soldiers. Mine are more like drunk soldiers. It happens. Show Not up. everyone can be dad. That's true. No one can be dad. Except for him. But dad. But I don't call him dad. That would be creepy and weird. <laughs> <gasps> what was that? I think that means you got a YouTube comment. My people. My people are contacting me. <laughs> your peeps. Your, your dad says your people are calling you. Your peeps are calling. His phone doesn't make any funny little noises. Yeah, well, he never turns it on. Oh, well, that's probably why. <laughs> so I have to charge it again. Yeah, you have to charge it at least once a month, don't you? Well, that's like how often he turns it on. <laughs> so I guess it looks a lot yeah. I'm not as popular as you guys. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't mean we're popular. We just have a phone that's slightly fancier than yours. Mine's way fancier. Yours is slightly fancier. Yes, yours is way fancier. You win the fancy phone contest, correct? Yeah, I know. Fancy phone. No big deal. It is a pretty big deal, actually. So what are you doing when you're uh, moving all those nuts around? Well, first I put the chocolate on the table and cool that a little bit, and then I add the nuts, and the nuts cool it down quicker. And then, uh, then when it's the cold enough that I think I can just start using it. So that's what I'm doing. Is there a certain technique to picking up the cashews and dropping them? Yeah, when I do the cups, I make sure that there's more chocolate than the regular clusters that I make, mm -hmm. so that they fill in the cup nice. And so when you, for the box of sorted chocolates, then they're a nice uh, chunk of chocolate with nuts in it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it'd be like some hollow spots or something. Uh, no, I just don't want it to be too full of nuts. I want it to be like a 50-50 or so. The chocolate and nuts. Yeah. Yeah, don't have to be too nutty. Like you guys. Yeah. I knew that was coming. Ugh. Can't complete the day without a nut joke. <laughs> Do you roast the cashews too, Dad? Yeah, I'm running out. I gotta roast them again. Uh, I love, I love eating freshly roasted cashews. Um, we gotta do a video soon of uh, of you doing that, actually. No, people don't want to see that. Oh, they totally do. No, nobody wants to see fresh roasted cashews. They wouldn't like uh, that. Oh, they're the best. They'll make them sad. Yeah, they're sad that they can't eat them yeah, right away. Yeah, that's true. Like if you like cashews, once you try fresh roasted cashews, your life is changed. It's a thing. It's really tough after he makes them because you gotta let them cool. It's tough to leave some for the customers. I will admit that. Yeah. <laughs> and the huge copper kettle. Mom's just down here gobbling them all up. Yep. Me, the, the cashew gobbler. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a turkey gobble. Never mind. Yeah. You know, same thing. It's popped out. It happens. What are you giggling at, Dad? YouTube. YouTube. U2? U2 is not playing. Duh. Can you do the, the twist thing with this? Yeah. Yeah, show off. Do the wow. twist thing. How do you do it, Steve? How do you do the twist thing? What are you doing with your hand? I can't do the twist thing. No. No, you never you showed just, me how. You just take your hand and twist it. Turn it. As you're pulling up, as you're pulling up, turn your hand. All right, Mom, now it's your turn. I got a bunch of marshmallows in my puddle. Oh, uh, excuses, excuses. <laughs> Just full of excuses, Mom. Let me try it again. Wow! That was really close. <laughs> you know, after I perfect skipping stones. Wow. Look at that. Oh, yeah, you're the twisty man. What an artist. And you're getting chocolate all over your table. Oh no. Quit playing with the phone. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble now. <laughs> yeah, wait till corporate sees this. <laughs> gonna be big trouble. 
<laughs> Someone, uh, I think in the, one of the ASMR videos where you were just sitting there waiting for the chocolate to, to cool down, someone was like, what is corporate going to do when they see this? And then someone said, uh, you know, they're going to tell him that he was tempering chocolate. And um, I forgot where I was going with that. Did I be in trouble? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I remember. Because I said, um, I think it was Amanda something, Cabrera or what, Cabrera. She always leaves really funny comments. But um, I was just like, is he going to be looking in a mirror when he's talking to corporate? Or, <laughs> <laughs> or talking to mom? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who corporate is in this scenario. Yeah, since actually we're not even incorporated. Yeah. <laughs> just a partnership. Mm hmm Can we, can we kind of like vaguely, without very many details, tell that uh, story about someone who said they were going to blow you into corporate? Sure. Okay. Um, somebody sent me an email and uh, requested a whole bunch of uh, free samples. And uh, we don't just mail free candy to people just because they ask. Um, if you want candy, you actually have to pay for it. This is a business. It is. That's our business plan. We make stuff. <laughs> we make stuff. We package it. We sell it. And then we take that money that's left over after all the cost of goods is, is paid for and the labor and stuff. And we live on that money. Mm. So, there's really no, not a lot of room for free stuff. But this stranger requested free samples of various items and I explained to her that um, we don't really have a free sample policy. And she emailed me back that if I wanted her business, I'd send her the stuff. And <laughs> that I, doesn't really sound like much business. Well, she wanted, it was stuff for a wedding. Mm -hmm. She wanted wedding favors, but she wanted to try all this stuff before she mm -hmm. bought it, but she wasn't willing to pay for it. So I emailed her back that perhaps, and I was very polite, that perhaps she would be happier with somebody else because she said, you know, you don't want my business, you want me. I said, okay. So then she um, emailed me back um, that she was contacting corporate to let them know about my terrible attitude. And I replied that I don't know how you can contact corporate because since I'm the owner that you're talking to, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> At which point she sent back to um, stop harassing her. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we're done now. I, 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 I think I might have said, who are you going to call my mother? You text, you, you said I'm that to her? I'm not sure if I did. When she got snotty, I might have said, you know, who's corporate? You're going to yeah, tell, you're gonna call me call me my mom? mom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a long time ago. And yeah. clearly she had other issues. Yeah. Or maybe she just really likes getting free stuff. <laughs> and I thwarted her. I yeah. Don't know. Maybe she didn't even have a wedding. Who knows? The odd thing was, was she was actually going back and forth using her business email, which, you know, if I wanted to get her in trouble, <laughs> assuming there was corporate where she came from, yeah. because I think I might have Googled it. This is a long time ago. Maybe, I don't know if Google was even invented yet. <laughs> I might, I think I looked into it and saw that she you was. asked Jeeves it? She was. <laughs> I might have asked Jeeves. He, he was a thing. He was a guy. And she, but she did work for a fairly big company and she could have gotten in trouble for, you know, basically harassing somebody with their mm -hmm. company email. But I just was like, let it die. We're done here. <laughs> I'll stop harassing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of fun emails. Yeah. Who's What's that? that? What's that? What's that noise? What's that noise? The old-fashioned phone. It's a wall phone with a cord and everything. One ringy dingy. A phone with a cord? How, how, old wow. is that, how old is that phone though? Like for real, I remember. I'm gonna guess. It's like elementary school. I think we got it. I will guess 15 years or so. Yeah. Because it's it's a yes, it's a corded phone, but it's got two lines and it's got a hold. It has up to button. four. Up to four. We only, only use have two. two phone numbers. And, uh, <laughs> well, really, we have like three if you count the 1-800. Well, that comes in on the same line. Yeah. So but it's a different number. Okay, you win. <laughs> you win the nitpicky contest. You got all the nits, Craig. I'm just trying to say we have a lot of numbers. No, yes, we do. 